My name is Daniel Mahalik. I'm a product designer based in Brooklyn, New York, and I design products and furniture primarily made out of cork. So I first started using cork in about 2003, I believe, and I just found it to be this amazing material which had all of this potential to perform in ways that other materials couldn't. And the objects that came out of using cork were unlike any other objects I'd ever seen. And on top of that, it was this great, clean, healthy, natural material. And I thought that there was just unlimited potential with this material. Cork is ecologically healthy in a number of ways. Primarily, it's a renewable material. It, instead of cutting down a tree to harvest the hardwood for that tree, you actually strip the bark from the tree and it grows back after 10 years. There is a culture of cork in Portugal. And there's a culture of the harvest, there's a culture of the production. There's also a, 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 a long culture of craft and creating objects out of this material. And I think that that history and that craft and that culture is in danger of fading away. Because it is such a natural, such a warm, such a beautiful material, and I think that there's a greater attention being paid to natural materials and things that have a greater degree of tactility, I think that we're all getting a little tired of, of shiny plastic. Um, and we're trying to retreat a little bit back to natural materials. And I think cork is ideal for that. And I teach courses on materials and manufacturing. And really the work that I've been doing with cork is a starting point for what I try to bring to the, to the classroom, to the students, that manufacturing has new models that are, that are um, being engaged now using different kinds of materials and different kinds of manufacturing techniques that are healthier than what we've known before. And this work that I've done with Cork is a great starting point or a great, great place for me to do the research necessary to be able to teach students about new ways of thinking about materials and new ways of thinking about manufacturing. What I find so inspiring about this material is that I see it as a jumping off point. It's not just a material to design interesting objects, which it is, but it's also a model for a different way of thinking of how we use natural material. And it's got huge potential for design for furnishings, for objects, for interiors, for architecture. Um, it's got just potential everywhere. 